Hello. What I'm going to do today is demonstrate how to create a timer in the GEC so that something will happen after a certain amount of real life seconds have passed. Now, you could always change like the script processing delay on a quest, but that's like not a desperately efficient method. So first of all, I'm going to make a quest. I'm going to call it, uh, give it a unique ID, so timer quest. Priority 55, start game enabled. That's the standard stuff for quest making. So next up, I'm going to go and write a script. And depending on, you'll input lots of different features to what I'm doing, depending on exactly what you want to do. But I'm going to say that after a certain amount of time, caps appear in the player's inventory. So I'm going to go SCN timer script. And I'm going to write float timer. So that's a little bit like when I write short and declare a variable, I'm calling float and then naming my time, my float variable a timer. The float just, I'm not really sure exactly what the difference is, but it just depends on the size of a number. A float would be for, a, you'd call a float for a larger number, a sh short for a short number. There's the gist of it, I think. So begin game mode. Um, if brackets timer. And now this is where you define how long you want your timer to run for. So let's say 60 seconds. So if timer is below 60, set timer to timer plus get seconds past. Else player dot add item caps uh, zero zero one and if end now you can if you want the timer to run multiple times you can add because if you leave it like this the player will just keep receiving caps and that'll be a bit annoying so you can do a couple of things you could um you could either, if you want it to just repeat so every 60 seconds a player gets caps, you would then just hit set timer to zero, like that. Alternatively, if you wanted to stop the quest, we would just put a uh, stop quest. Just put that in there, and then that script would stop, never play again. Or you could do, if you wanted to put to make it start again later, we could just write short paid, so create a variable called paid. Um, begin game mode uh, if paid equals zero. I spelled paid wrong, but I can see it there. If paid equals zero, do that. Uh, set paid to one. End if, end if. So now that does, it checks that if paid equals zero, and if paid equals zero and timer equals less than 60, it'll set timer to timer plus the number of real life seconds that have passed. And if the timer is greater than 60, it'll set paid to one and add caps so the timer will stop running. But that bit isn't really important. The important bit when creating a timer is the bare bones here, which I'll show. So. This will begin game mode. If the value timer is below 60, it will set timer to timer plus get seconds passed. So that's the number of real life seconds that have passed since this was last checked. So eventually, once 60 real life seconds have passed, the player will have ooh caps. Um, you need to define an amount of caps. The player will have 100 caps added to his inventory. End if end. So now we're going to save that as a quest script, like that. And look for timer quest that we made before. Here it is. Go down here and look for a script that we wrote before, a timer script. So now every this script will run and do the stuff that I demonstrated. Like that. So hopefully that was it. Uh, hopefully that was clear. As long as you understood the bare bones of it, this section, you should be able to tinker it around to stop the timer from running however you want. So hopefully that was useful. Uh, thank you for watching.